Howdy once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and I am here with episode number 52A of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. But before I move on to the four or five items that I have today, let me back up real quickly to 51A and clarify a few items. Perhaps you remember this item uh, given to me by Rod Rogers, actually loaned and we know that it is used for putting on uh, cable ends, uh, lugs, such as what I have here. And this is what I was looking for. I lost it temporarily. Oh, I paid five bucks for that, didn't I? But anyway, battery cables, uh, welding cables, and so on. And there's quite a nice selection of them. And that tool was meant to put these on, and everybody had that right. But I had it wrong in that I said you used a vise or an arbor press, but in fact, that blue item needs to be struck with a large hammer. Similarly, in this kit, and there's a set of directions, and uh, almost looks like an alligator, doesn't it? Spring-loaded, but if you take a number two terminal and you put it into the number two slot, like that, along with the cable in the back, and then you whack it good with a hammer, I assume also because this seems to be a little bit mushroomed. So it has been struck. So I just wanted to clarify that item and uh, thank you Rod for that. And yes, in the directions they didn't actually show a hammer but they're telling you to use a hammer and strike it. And next again I'm referring to episode 51A and here's another item that also was loaned to me by Rod Rogers. Do you remember that? And we never did get a firm answer for that. There were a lot of good guesses and a lot of wild guesses, but uh, Mr. Vernon Courier, mature patriot, told me the true answer. Let's take a look. So Vernon went right to the horse's mouth and he contacted Central Tools and there's Donna of quality customer care and she sent a nice letter that's out in Rhode Island explaining exactly what this item is. Let's have a picture of that. Pause your video to read this. Now the letter was sent to Vernon by Central Tool and read the whole thing if you will but it is called a crankshaft main journal gauge about 40 years old discontinued 30 years ago they probably did not make that many of them but that's what that item is thank you to Central Tools Donna and Vernon for uh, doing the research and going to that effort and thank you to, for, to Rod Rogers a lot of people to thank for loaning that to me interesting item and an update on this tool and I don't remember if I put this in what is it or one of my other videos but the question was and this is from Britain what is this hammer and what is it for? It's a Warrington pattern hammer made specifically for cabinet making. The cross pin is used to start brads without whacking your finger. Read the rest of it if you want to. And I must have liked this so much. This is the one that I obtained recently at an auction. And I found out I already had one, but not in quite a good condition but both still have the original decals. All right, enough of the old stuff. Let's get on to what this video is actually about. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I am way behind, and if you sent me something, it's uh, because I haven't gotten to it yet. Also, I have lost some of the names. I do not know where some of the stuff came from. But I'm starting to put the name on. For instance, this came from Jerry Wilson. You might remember him. He sent this Bernard to me some time ago, but uh, the question is now, what is this micrometer? This is obviously a zero to one inch micrometer, but what is it for? It's got a bit of a blade right there for an anvil, and the anvil is adjustable, I suppose, to zero it out. Kind of nicely made, but it doesn't appear to be a sterret head. It looks like a cheaper head. But what in the world is the purpose of this micrometer? Thank you, Jerry. 
Here's an interesting and well-built precision item, and it was sent to me by just a, a man by the name of a Mr. Nebergal, I believe is what it is, without any first name, and he's down in Canton, Illinois. So thank you for that, Mr. Sorry you didn't send the letter or anything else with it, at least not that I remember. But, but look at this. What in the world is this? I have no clue. And it's got a double acting thread, that is a right and a left, for adjustment. And on the end, two little probes. I don't believe it to be homemade. And the guide rods. Almost looks like stainless steel. Maybe it's plated, I'm not sure. But very nicely made, I would think kind of expensive. I don't believe that he knew what it was, and I certainly do not know what it is. So give me your best guess, and it can be a funny one, but keep them clean or I delete them. Here's an interesting S-Wing hammer, and I think you know I like S-Wing hammers. I got a, a nice claw hammer there. They're, they were made in Rockford. I had a cousin that used to work there. And uh, what's unusual about this hammer, not the handle, they all have that beautiful leather type of handle on it, but what is the purpose of this particular one? And I do believe that this has been reground or abused, possibly used for another purpose other than what it's meant for. And I believe I got it right when I will tell you in the follow-up video. But I have shown you similar videos made by other companies, not videos, hammers, made by other companies. Uh, many companies made this style of hammer. I will tell you that it is a metalworking hammer. And all of the S-Wing hammers had the name down on the butt. Made in USA. So what, what is that one used for? Thank you to Clift Earls for sending me this Morse taper drill some time ago, actually. It's been sitting on the bench. And never mind the way it's ground at the end, apparently with a pilot. That's probably been modified. But look at the flutes here on this drill. And more specifically, what is this groove for? Right here. I think I know, but I may have it wrong. And you very seldom see these. And I believe that uh, the groove contains something. And it is not there anymore if I've got that right. So what is the purpose of that groove? I may be wrong on that. Maybe there was nothing in the groove. Maybe you've seen these, maybe you have some, maybe you, maybe you have used them. Okay, that concludes episode 52A of my What Is It series. Again, this is the question. Watch for 52B, the answer, when available. Thanks for watching. See you soon.